Well guys, I've got the bottom half of the paneling done. It's hard to show you because everything's jumbled up in the middle of the floor here. I'm, uh, I've got tight workspace to work in here. But I've got the bottom section done. Maybe I can squeeze in down here. And I pieced in scraps from our store that was leftover scraps. Actually, all these were extras. Those were whole sheets. I put two whole sheets down sideways because all I had to cut off was an inch uh, to fit the wall in that way. And then some scraps that I had. And I'll probably have to put some wood trim on the edges of them. Probably on everything all the way around to keep this from bowing and warping with time. But uh, that'll be fun to make some trim in my wood shop for the wood shop walls. See, it's already warping. It's so humid in here. It's just, uh, everything's already warping in here. It's really bad. I mean, it's really, really, really bad. And, uh, it's, um, it's been slow going. This is actually the second day. It's, uh, it's not much work, but with the humidity, and Melanie even complains how humid it is inside here, well, overall, but inside the garage is worse, that, uh, I'm literally melting. And I know that a lot of you guys are going to say you're much more of a man than me and you can take it. And even if you're a woman, you're probably much more of a man than I am. And you're probably right. I can't take the heat or the humidity. And I never could. And so, um, good for you. I do what I can. And I do it slow. That's all I can do. But uh, I get it. I'm getting it done. Anyway, um, I thought today I could pull out my GoPro for future work. Especially especially in here. I'm going to end up probably using the GoPro for uh, for work in the wood shop more. Start setting up multiple cameras for, for dusty work. Because that can take it. That definitely I should be able to take it. It's waterproof. Well anyway, there it is for now. And uh, now I'm going to start framing in the workbench. But I've got a really tight fit here. And I've got a fit here. I can barely, I barely have two feet to walk in. And I'm going to have to move my tools, which as you can see is a jumbled mess in the middle here. And that all that, most of that stuff all needs to go on the, on or under the workbench. All this stuff. So it's going to help a lot. And then um, these portable work tables I'll probably sell or get rid of so that I have more room in here. Because when I have a workbench all the way around the outside of the entire shop, then I won't need these portable tables. Or maybe I'll just put them somewhere else out in, uh, um, in the other shed or something for now. Yeah, we'll see. But i got to clean this all up. See, I can't use anything because everything's underneath stuff that needs to be on the shelves and on the workbench. Now, that's going to be nice. That's a jumble right there. That's sad. But, you know, it's going to be done here soon. It's all jumbled up right now because I had to push it away. Well, I'm going to start moving stuff over some more away from the wall and start framing. Well, guys, I have framed in a workbench two feet wide, and it's going to go all the way around the entire wood shop. Um, I'm going to do two sections like this, so I'm going to frame in another section here. Uh, probably yet tonight. I think what I'm going to do, um, the back legs are temporary because that's going to be screwed right to the wall. And then I'm going to add more on the front legs. Right now there's only four total legs. I'm probably going to uh, mark off where the butt end of that is. And frame in another one just like it. And then slide the two in together before I fasten it to the wall. I think that's exactly what I'll do. I'll make another one just like it. Um, everything's two foot. This is not flush. I don't know why being on the floor it didn't come out flush, oddly. So I'm going to take that off and redo it when I put the wood on top. Everything else seems to be flush. Uh, for the most part, I think it's all good. I want to try to make a really straight, flat workbench all the way around the whole entire shop. I can only be as flat as the shed is, but after all these years, there's no cracks in the floor. I'm very impressed, so um, it should be all right. Anyway, I, uh, I got to try to push this out of the way and make another one. But there's no room, as you can see, there's literally two, not even two and a half feet for, for, uh, of space in here. So I can't like run in and out and get to the camera back and forth. So sorry about that.
But um, when I get on the future, on the rest of them, I'll be recording. I'll definitely have room then because I can clean this place up. So happy times coming. Well, it's a quarter after nine at night. You can see it's tight in here. It's two foot wide, but I've done it. I've got the table framed, the entire workbench. It's a 16 foot workbench. I hope the garage door will still work. <laughs> So I've got a 16 foot workbench and about um, uh, 4 feet left in the back, 3 or 4 feet left in the back corner. I've done it in such a way now though that all I have to do is finish the back wall and then frame in the last section of workbench back there. I know it's awkward. Let me walk around. Maybe I can get a better view with the camera back there. So the back, 4 feet, 3 or 4 feet. I can frame in later and then of course swing it around the corner so that'll work out nice I've got this screwed and nailed to the wall studs it is rock solid and a part of the building now it does not move so I'm very pleased had Melanie help me a couple times just to hold things in place um, because of the tight corner here I had her help me hold up this end these I framed this piece in on the ground and then I had her help me hold that end up there flush well I put legs on over here to hold that up in the right height and then I went ahead and uh, fastened it all together it looks good I am very pleased now I've got a couple more legs to cut and, and uh, put in but I'm going to do that after I put on the tabletop so I'll probably cut this tomorrow these uh, plywood sheets I'll probably cut one of them tomorrow for the tabletop and get that on here and then I can start moving my tools off the floor and have more space to work in this shed it'd be so much better once I get the floor cleared off so that's it for now it's getting late this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project uh, another day is done at the homestead Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Talk to you all later.